It's Rob Holmes by Rob Benny, Home Smart Realty West. And I found some interesting news. For the second week in a row, unsold inventory has stayed level. And the reason that's big news is because America has been buying everything in sight. So for inventory to not drop throughout the United States, that's actually a really good sign. Now, as you know, if you've been following my videos or if you've been reading anything about real estate, and as this chart shows us, with all the crazy multiple offers and so low inventory, median prices have been skyrocketing in the past year, especially percentage-wise throughout the entire country. And another thing that we need to consider coming up here is buyers that just locked in their interest rates like just a few weeks ago when they were at all-time record lows. They have a big incentive uh, to buy a home now because they don't want to lose their locked interest rate. So in this way, rising mortgage interest rates will actually increase demand for a few months. And, and that certainly increased the median prices uh, this past month. Now, we're about to go into a really interesting time because this past week is of last year is when we went into our shutdown. And if you take a closer look at the red line in this chart, You'll see the first week last year, the median home price was just over $328,000, which shows that median home prices only dipped for three weeks last year before buyers started coming back in force. And it took only five weeks before uh, me <laughs> medium home prices recovered past the previous highs. If you look a little closer, the median price was up 11% from last year. It's up 5% for this past, just this past month. But what we really want to watch here the next few weeks, because things could get a little crazy. Comparing year over year, percentage gains, uh, I want to draw your attention to another thing on this chart. If you look at new listings, you can see how they were more sensitive to the pandemic shutdown with bigger dips and how aggressively the prices climbed during those times. So this tells you that sellers know exactly what's going on and how good they have it right now. Considering Americans gained one and a half trillion dollars of equity wealth this past year, and experts have stated that equity could grow 10% this year, they could probably gain that again in 2021. And make no mistake, that bodes well for economic recovery in general. Now let's take a look at the inventory. And inventory is flat for the second week in a row, as you can see here, which is, like I said, really good news, considering that the peak of inventory was at April 3rd of last year, which is nearly 12, 12 months ago. So it's really good to see inventory not plummeting as it was, as it did actually for 50 weeks continuously. So again, my feeling is, and again, it's just my opinion, that inventory is coming. I expect us to not stay flat. I actually expect with all the things opening up, more vaccines getting out, springs a strong time of year anyway, and there's never been a spring like this one, I expect inventory to really jump. And one last thing I'll leave you with, the one last chart we'll take a quick look at, is percentage of homes with price reductions in the United States. Price reductions are at a record low of 16.1%. That means only 16.1% of sellers have had to lower their price from their original price to get their home sold. And as you know, if you've been following my videos or you've been trying to buy a house, most homes are going well over asking price because of all the bidding wars. But this is going to be an interesting thing to watch over the next two or three months because as inventory comes on and people keep coming on at really high prices thinking they're going to stay in these bidding wars and as there's more inventory and people have more options, they're not going to be getting into all these crazy bidding wars. And I guess what's going to happen to them? These high prices are going to uh, have to come back down to more realistic prices, at least in my humble opinion. So when the inventory picks up, prices are going to not drop way down, but they're going to stabilize. They're not going to have the craziest that we have now. So this could be very well be the deep peak time 
for selling your home. That's not me, the realtor, talking. That's all the numbers I just showed you and that I show you on a continuous basis. So that's it. That's all I got for this video. Uh, if you know anybody who could use this video, please pass along to them. I'd appreciate that. If you have any questions about selling your home, buying a home, you need to uh, want to know the value of your home, the value of your neighborhood, anything. Uh, you know, I love to talk real estate. Please do not hesitate to uh, reach out and say hello, and uh, let's have a chat. Other than that, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I think we got warm weather coming, the sun's out, and things are looking good. Things are opening up. So uh, stay safe, folks. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.